So the next one is uh, ALM tool. ALM is an application lifecycle management tool. It is worn by Micro Focus Company now. Before HP and before that, uh, there is a Mercury company. So from Mercury, HP company bought. HP sold this to Micro Focus. Now current uh, owner for this ALM is Micro Focus. And UFT and ALM both are uh, handled by Micro Focus. These are the two tools. UFT is uh, one other functional test tool. ALM is a project management tool. So entire project lifecycle will be maintained in this uh, ALM tool. So what you can do in the ALM? So you can track the tasks, track the defects and project management. This is a commercial tool. You need to pay money if you want to use the uh, ALM tool. And the tabs in the ALM tool is, you have a dashboard tab, same as a Jira, we have a dashboard, right? Dashboard tab. In the dashboard, it will show mainly what task assigned to you. So main overview, it will be shown to us. Management tab, this management tab is used by uh, project managers. Project managers, so they will uh, create a project plan. Project plan means, so in the particular uh, sprint or particular uh, cycle, what are all the different cycles you need to perform to release that product, to release that feature? How many cycles we need? Cycle one, so how many we need? Cycle two, how many we need? And uh, so that's the this management tab. And uh, in the basically the schedules will be created here. Release wise schedules will be created. So release one, okay. Cycle one, cycle two, two cycles you need to perform testing. Cycle one will start on so and so date, ends on this date. Cycle two will start on so and so date, ends on this date. So that's how you can uh, right uh, get the, all the details in this tab itself. And that's the uh, this management tab. Who will we use management tab? It is used by project managers and the test managers. So project managers and test managers will do that. Clear? Yeah, clear, clear, sir. Okay. So now, and we can, another tab is a requirements tab. In the requirements tab, the business analyst will gather all the requirements and you will, uh, you will upload all the requirement documents in this requirements tab so that anybody can uh, check them. Anybody can go and uh, who is working on that project, they can check that. That's a, a requirements tab. And uh, fourth one is a testing tab. The testing tab is basically, uh, you have a, again, testing tab inside, you have a test plan tab, test lab tab. So in the test plan tab, uh, you will create a test cases based on the requirements in the test plan tab. All the test cases will be created. You have a template, based on the template format you will follow. So and you will create a test cases. Then test lab tab. In the test lab, you will create all the test sets. Test sets means, so test set is a collection of test cases. You can create a one test set. Suppose you are, you are executing login test cases. You will create a login test set. One name you will give in that test set, all the login scenario test cases. You will, flu, you will uh, pull from test plan to test lab into that test set inside. So you are not disturbing this test plan test cases. You're just moving those test cases from test plan to test set. You're going to create a new test set into that set, test set and you'll execute one by one after creating a test set. So that's a plan of a testing tab is used by testing team. See, many people are using this uh, ALM tool. So managers, business analyst or product owners, testing team. In the testing tab, you can create a manual and automation test case also. So even developers also will use that, okay? So that's the uh, this thing. And uh, 
defect tab last one are you clear on this testing tab what we are going to do yes sir next one is a defect tab in the defect tab again you will you will have option create option click on defect tab create new defect you can create the new defects and then all the fields will be there so every field you can uh, use and you can create the defects then you can track the defects you can search the defects so that's the one and this is the bug life cycle what is we have so we discuss the bug life cycle and first it will be open state then the bug trace meeting will happen and if it is a valid and assigned to development team and developer will start working on that if then you will put in the in progress or you will so keep it in open state and then once it is uh, no fixed you will change the status to fixed and once all the fixed bugs you have to take up and retest them that's a retesting so retesting is passed you will close that bug if retesting is failed and reopen it and assign to same developer so this is the bug life cycle how we are going to so these are the different status open first when you uh, in the alm when you file a bug it will be a new state and then if it is a valid they will change to open open to fixed fixed to testing testing to and closed that's a cycle will end that bug will be closed if the bug is not fixed again you will reopen assign to same developer because when they make the fixed status when they change the status to fixed what they will do here is they will assign to you their assignment tab you have seen right here assignment so the assignee option will be there right the, the that assignee tab will assign to your name so when he is working his name will be there after fixing he will assign to your name as a as a tester you need to take all the fixed bugs you will retest them so that's how you are going to verify in this bug life cycle is another very important concept you have to explain each and everything you have to explain each and everything how the bug life cycle is going to work let me show you the bug life cycle clearly alm bug life cycle that's a jira bug life cycle i have given but i'll show you alm bug life so this is the alm tool qral can can be used so product owners po we call this project managers and uh, business analyst to developers to testers so all these people will use project managers they will do project planning task assignment to bug tracking everything they will check and the product owners create a, all the stakeholders communication uh, so this creates a product backlog everything will do testers test case management to manual testing automation testing all their test cases they can keep here and they can execute here also so business analyst he will gather the requirements so then that's the part that the business analyst he will use so developers they can uh, know put all their code and they can build it so they can put all their code here also in the alm so that's the task they will perform so there is a client server architecture and uh, main thing these are the tabs so what are the tabs these are tabs dashboard management requirements and you have this is the cycles they will create okay release one cycle release one cycle one cycle two two cycles they will prepare so in release one cycle one you will test a few requirements in cycle two you will complete all the requirements of that release so that's how you can test uh, so this different people will use it differently so these are the tabs so these tabs you will see once you log into the alm tool so testing tab so defects tab will be there so then when you creating this all project life cycle this is the release wise they will create cycle number of cycle start date end date will be given and then requirements you will create the requirements functional requirements are what are the requirements you have so functional and non functional requirements you will create here so that's a requirements tab business analyst will use test plan tab uh, you have a testing tab So in the test plan, you will create the test cases. So many test cases you will create: functional test cases, and uh, see that in the testing tab you have a test resources, business components, test plan, 
test lab, test runs. These are the components will be there under testing tab. And so here you can create different types of test cases. Functional, functional can be automation or manual test case, both, right? Then non-functional. So in the functional, manual testing, you have login, customer account, bank operations, all this, you can see that. So that's uh, uh, this different folders you're putting and creating, organizing your test case in the folder ways. So that is easy to track, right? So login scenarios you want, login test case you want, you just click on this folder, inside that folder, login test case will be there. So this a folder structure is basically used for organizing your files to test cases, to anything. So that's a test plan tab inside, you will create a test case. So then test like this, you have a steps to description or expect a result. So this will come like this. Even you can export the test cases. If you prepared a test case in the Excel sheet, you can export them into Excel ALM tool so that you don't need to write again and again, one more time, right? That, that also provision you have here. These are all the test cases. See that account to bank operations, so, so customer. So these are the test cases, one, two, three, four, like that you will create for each module. Module wise, you can create the test cases. Test lab. Test lab is where you will execute the test case. See, create a test set. You will create the test set. Then the test set inside, you can pull all the test cases. So those test cases, you will execute in the test lab. Test plan, you will create the test cases. You will design the test cases. Test lab, you will execute the test case. Before, how you will do that? You will create a one test set. Test set means a collection of test cases, right? That's a test set. And those test cases, you will set it. And then you can create them. So that's how you, you are going to use these test cases. And the test sets, you will execute and you will report the defects, right? You will report the defects. Any questions? No, sir, but yeah. Good, sir. We, we have to go through it again and again to remember that stuff. Sir, I got so many mails from all the, like, like what, uh, from Jira, like so SSS. Just to move here and there, right? That's why you can delete all of them, right? Delete all. Okay. So I created a task, right? That's why you got all of them. Oh, okay. okay. All the tasks. Yeah. The mail. Task assigned to you and moving that, all this thing you are getting. So, so you automatically, just... our mail ID is assigned to that, we'll di directly get the mails from exactly, those. Exactly. Exactly. The task is given. Okay. So whoever commented also, you will get a mail also automatically. Okay. Now, here is the status. You can see no run, no pass or fail. And you can put the status while executing the test cases. So you can put a run and you can change the status here, run, pass, or fail, okay? So that's a, how to execute test cases here in the ALM tool inside itself you can execute. And so that uh, every test set status you can find easily. So what type of testing is a manual or automation testing? You can find out that. Then after that, you have a defect tab. So in the defect tab and uh, you just click on this, and this is the bug life cycle in the ALM tool. First, when you create a bug, it will be in the new state. First status of bug is new, when you create a first time. And then, uh, if it is a valid, then it will be changed new to open state. If it is not valid, they will reject that bug, they will make it is invalid, and they will close that bug. Okay, if it is invalid, inva you open, then some developer, it will be assigned. For some developer, the bug will be assigned. Then you will work on that. Then the, once the bug fix is done, you will change the status from open to fixed, fixed status. See, the status is changing from new to open, open to fixed. These are different statuses we call them. And the fixed status bugs, what we will do, we'll retest, right? We'll retest. If the fixed test case is working, test case is passed, you will close that bug, the closer status. If the fixed test case is not passed, you will reopen that and assign to same developer. So reopen is another status. So these are all the different, different status will be there.
so here it is explained very clearly a new is when the defect is posted by the testing team open is when the defect is accepted by the developers that's a open and rejected when the developer is not accepting the bug this this bug is not accepted by development team maybe you misunderstood or uh, environmental issues and you they will change the bug status from new to rejected or invalid they will make it and then fix it so once the developer completed working on that and they will change the fix it reopen you know that reopen is you tested it fixed bug but it is not working still same same issue you are seeing then you can reopen it then and test case is passed you will close that this is the bug life cycle in the alm tool how to create a bug so click on the defects tab and new defect and the template will open to you first summary tab will be there summary tab will be right summary tab will be there that summary tab uh, so summary tab first you will give the summary of your bug right so and all these fields you will fill again severity priority the release all these things so what is summary log sir what summary is what what bug you got the bug so what is the bug you have to explain right that's a summary by seeing the summary simple sentence i have written okay. here right in the jira simple sentence i have written right okay it's a very simple sentence summary summary means this thing right click oh, on okay. create account this is a summary it's just one liner so that's why uh so i am going to give that summary in this tool later you can fill all the fields click on submit and description is common description is a mandatory all the description fields we have in the test case document right do you remember that so that one so click on submit you will get, the bug will be created to us so once bug is created you can search you can do whatever you want so that's the how to create a bugs and what are the different tabs are there in the alm tool so what are the tabs is there dashboard tab management tab requirements tab requirements tab testing tab defects tab these are the four five tabs right dashboard tab management tab requirements tab testing tab in the testing you have so many sub tabs again test lab test plan tab resources so test run tab also will be there so that's all about alm tool okay so any questions on bug life cycle in the alm so you can explain all this uh, points but mainly you can tell only one tool jira tool you tell i work on jira that's enough right you don't need to mention many tools so just jira jira is we practice right so that you can confidently can tell that okay yes so that's a, that's a complete defect and a defect topic how we are going to file the defects this is the way you are going to work really the way i have shown you workflow defects filing everything this is the same way you will work in the real way okay, okay. so that's all and tomorrow we are only pending with the two topics one is sdlc models and another one is uh, testing types testing types these are two topics are there if these two topics are finished we are done with the manual test okay i hope we can finish by this weekend okay just two days two days we need for uh, four days we need you know we have four days we can finish so the topics okay sir